I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Question. If you'll please bow your heads and join me for the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. Thank you all. Hey, good morning, everybody. Welcome to our weekly meeting for October 9th. Our next public workshop will be next Wednesday, October 16th. And our next public meeting will be next Thursday, October 17th. And that is due to the delay of a day because of the uh, holiday on Monday. So county offices will be closed uh, for Columbus Day on Monday. Our meetings will be pushed back a day uh, for each of the meetings. Madam Clerk. Mr. Cantalamesa. Here. Ms. Frenchco. Mr. Malloy. Here. Item number one is to dispense with reading the minutes of the workshop session dated October 1st, 2024, and the regular meeting dated October 2nd, 2024, and accept and approve the video recordings of both meetings as the official meeting minutes. Motion to approve. Second. Mr. Cantalamesa. Yes. Malloy. Yes. And for the record, uh, Ms. Frenchko joined our meeting at 10.33 a.m. Ms. Frenchko, Friday night. I'm sorry. Can you please read which one you're on? I, I Number one. Um, that, the, I'm sorry. What, what, can you please read it again? Item number one. She wasn't here for the first part. We'll just move on to number two. Item number two is to dispense with reading the minutes of the special meeting, Lovettsburg Dam Study, um, results and discussion dated October 1st, 2024, and accept and approve the video recording of the meeting as the official meeting minutes. Uh, motion to approve. Second. Mr. Cantalamesa. Yes. Yes. Ms. Frenchko. Um, the meeting minutes are not done correctly. They're audio or video recorded people they're not done in a correct statutory way and it violates sunshine law um, it'd be nice if the clerk would do things properly but we have problems with her so no motion passes item number three is to approve the bills motion to approve second Mr. Cantilla Mesa. yes yes scratch card Where's my copy of the agenda? It was on your seat. I kept it separate. You're sitting on it. Seemed to be Maybe listening. if you got here a little bit earlier on time, you'd, you'd be oh, prepared for a meeting. For, uh, for the record, I was here on time. I was here early, and I have been... And, and the Acting clerk, like the a 15-year-old child clerk, since you got here, yelling at everybody you could. Because nobody will do was, your work for intercepted you. Intercepted something that was supposed to be sent uh, out via certified mail related to the hospitals, um, and then gave it to... Um, Gave it to has absolutely nothing to do with county business, and we weren't going to let you use county equipment for non county related right. business. Do you understand the importance of what's going on? In yeah, you're working with another company to try to tank the hospital we already have here, and the employees see it, the public sees it, and we're not going to let it happen on county business. Move no, on, number that, four. Did you even let's move on? I mean, move on, number four. Two commissioners are saying, Let's move on. Item number four is to transfer monies. Motion to approve. Second, Mr. Cantilla Mesa. Yes. Mr. Malloy. Yes. Uh, and uh, Commissioner Cantil Mesa was aware of the letter that I was writing, and he was fine with it as long as it didn't have his, it was signed for me, which it was. So I said you could write whatever you wanted to write. It, it, mm -hmm. Item number five is to approve additional appropriations. Motion to approve. And, and, and Lisa. Second. Well, hang Mr. on a second. Mr. Cantil Mesa. No, so, would you, would you, we are in the middle of the there? agenda. The you cut the original. We're Mr. the original. Wait, yes. Let's move on with the meeting. Deal with this stuff outside. The prosecutor's office. He said this is exactly what you gave him. It wasn't the original. Okay. Mr. Cantilla Mesa for yes. item number five. Yes. Mr. Malloy. Yes. Ms. Frenchko. Yes. 
Item number six is to approve transfer of appropriations. Motion to approve. Second. Mr. Cantalamesa? Yes. Mr. Malloy? Yes. Ms. Frenchko? Yes. Item number seven is to, to approve a memorandum of understanding between the Ohio Secretary of State, the Trumbull County Board of Elections, and the Trumbull County Commissioners concerning the purchase of new electronic poll pads and any other necessary equipment for use by the Trumbull County Board of Elections. The Secretary of State shall reimburse the Trumbull County Board of Elections for the lesser amount of either 85% of the cost of those acquisitions where the amount of the allocation is determined by the Secretary of State as provided by Section 610.30 of House Bill 33 of the 35th General Assembly. Motion to approve. Second. Mr. Cantalamesa? Yes. Mr. Malloy? Yes. Co? Yes. Item number eight is to approve the contract between the Board of Elections and No Inc. LLC for the purchase of new electronic poll pads in the total amount of $356,620, the state will provide funding to reimburse $128,037 of the total purchase cost with the remaining cost to $228,583 to be paid for, a, for with a transfer from the fund is listed and to appropriate accordingly. The contract has been re reviewed and approved by the prosecutor's office. Motion to approve. Second that. Mr. Cantalamesa? Yes. Mr. Malloy? Yes. Ms. Frenchko? Yes. Item number nine is to authorize Mike Salamone, Trumbull County Transit Administrator, Diane Jerkovic, Senior Levy Administrator, and Edward Stark, Superintendent for Trumbull County Board of Developmentally Disabled, to advertise for sealed proposals for Trumbull County-wide senior and disabled transportation services, providing on-demand transportation services for disabled residents of any age and senior residents 60 years of age or older, beginning February 1st, 2025 through January 31st, 2028, with a possible monthly extension period not to exceed 12 months. Motion to approve. Second that. Mr. Cantalamesa? Yes. Mr. Malloy? Yes. Ms. Frenchko? Yes. Item number 10 is to commit $200,000 from sale tax fund as listed for countywide on-demand disabled transportation for the next three years annually, January 1st, 2025 through December 31st, 2027. These funds provide countywide transportation for Trumbull County disabled residents during both non-grant periods and grant periods, which need local match for Ohio Department of Transportation 5310 grant funds. Motion to approve. Second the motion. Mr. Cantalamesa? Yes. Mr. Malloy? Yes. Ms. Frenchko? Yes. Item number 11 is to commit $750,000 from senior levy fund number 065 for the next year, beginning January 1st, 2025 through G December 31st, 2025 to support countywide senior transportation for non-grant periods and any 5310 ODOT grant programs awarded with local share matching funds. Motion to approve. Second the motion. Mr. Cantalamesa? Yes. Mr. Malloy? Yes. Ms. Frenchko? Yes. Item number 12 is to concur with the county engineer to grant the right-of-way permits requested by the individuals listed. Donald Mobley, J.E. Mateko, Chester Slabaugh. Motion to approve. Second. Mr. Cantalamesa? Yes. Mr. Malloy? Yes. Ms. Frenchko? Yes. Item number 13 is to concur with the county engineer to grant the special annual supplier fleet permits requested by the companies listed. TK Excavating, Dave's Excavating and Trucking Inc. Chagrin Oil and Gas. Motion to approve. Second. Mr. Cantalamesa? Yes. Mr. Malloy? Yes. Ms. Frenchko? Yes. Item number 14 is to terminate the employment of Mr. Jonathan Kelson from the position of custodian 
with the building maintenance department. Motion to approve. Second. Mr. Cantalamesa. Yes. Mr. Malloy. Yes. Ms. Frenchko. Yes. Item number 15 is to authorize the Board of Trumbull County Commissioners to enter into a memorandum of understanding with the Trumbull County Sanitary Engineer for the purposes of carrying out the Sheridan Drive Baker School Wastewater Infrastructure Upgrades funded through the coronavi Coronavirus State and Local Fiscal Recovery Funds Program, American Rescue Plan Act. Funds in the amount of $437,469 were originally allocated by the Board of Commissioners on March 20th, 2024. Motion to approve. Second that. Mr. Cantalamesa. Yes. Mr. Malloy. Yes. Ms. Frenchko. Yes. Item number 16 is to authorize the Board of Trumbull County Commissioners to enter into a memorandum of understanding with the Trumbull County Sanitary Engineer for the purposes of carrying out the Smith-Stewart Road Sanitary Sewer Improvements Project to extend public sanitary sewer service funded through the Coronavirus State and Local Fiscal Recovery Funds Program, American Rescue Plan Act, Funds in the amount of $335,000 were originally allocated by the Board of Commissioners on June 28th, 2023. Motion to approve. Second that. Mr. Cantalamesa? Yes. Mr. Malloy? Yes. Ms. Frenchko? Yes. Item number 17 is to authorize the Board of Trumbull County Commissioners to enter into a memorandum of understanding with the Trumbull County Sanitary Engineer for the purposes of carrying out the state line Road Sanitary Sewer Improvements Project funded through the Coronavirus State and Local Fiscal Recovery Funds Program, American Rescue Plan Act. Funds in the amount of $90,000 were originally allocated by the Board of Commissioners on June 28th, 2023. Motion to approve. Second that. Mr. Cantalamesa? Yes. Mr. Malloy? Yes. Ms. Frenchko? Yes. Item number 18 is to authorize the Board of Trumbull County Commissioners to enter into a memorandum of understanding with the Trumbull County Sanitary Engineer for the purposes of carrying out the Scott Street Phase II Lateral Assistance Program Construction and Engineering Project funded through the Corona Coronavirus State and Local Fiscal Recovery Funds Program, American Rescue Plan Act, Funds in the amount of $900,000 were originally allocated by the Board of Commissioners on April 26, 2023. Motion to approve. Second that. Mr. Cantalamesa? Yes. Mr. Malloy? Yes. Ms. Frenchko? Yes. Item number 19 is to accept maintenance bond number B1320857 issued by Selective Insurance Company of America for 15 sanitary lateral connections for low and moderate income households in the heat and shoot project area funded through PY 2022 CDBG residential public infrastructure grant program in the American Rescue Plan Act installed by Express Underground. Express Underground requested final payment for the completed work inspected and approved by the Trouble County Sanitary Engineer's Office. The maintenance bond is in the amount of 20%, $21,253.45 of the final project cost, $106,267.25, and is valid for a period of two years commencing September 16th, 2024, and ending September 16th, 2026. Motion to approve. Second. Mr. Cantalamesa? Yes. Mr. Malloy? Yes. Ms. Frenchko? Yes. Item number 20 is to award the best proposal and enter into a lease agreement with DBB Finance LLC with the Trumbull County Sanitary Engineer's Office to lease a Sharp 70C65 copier at a cost of $333.04 per month for a term of 60 months commencing November 1st, 2024. Motion to approve. I'll second that. I would like to have discussion. I what the different the cost was 800 was it or a few few hundred between the local one that's right downtown and someone out of state they're, they're out of boardman oh bob myra and those sanitary yeah, it engineers says, it says out of state doing better businesses from board the leasing companies from altoona 
IPA. Okay. So the difference is uh, Crosby Mook is actually $20 less a month, but their color price per color copy is higher. So based on our copy count, it's cheaper to go with DVB. How much cheaper? Um, we average about 6,000 copies a month. So it takes 3,200 a copy to break even. Sure. So it's cheaper. I mean, DBB is the cheaper option based on our volume. It's $25 a month. Like $25 a month? Approximately. Yeah. I, I, I just, I think that they should use some, the one that's local. That's my personal opinion. Mr. Cantalamesa? Yes. Mr. Malloy? Yes. Ms. Frenchco? No. Item number 21 is to approve change order number three with Carilla Contractors, Inc. for the Yankee Lake Sanitary Sewer Improvements Project number 5-S-18 in the amount of $96,680, revising the total contract value to $2,680,276.58. Motion to approve. Second that. Mr. Cantalamesa? Yes. Mr. Malloy? Yes. Ms. Frenchco? Yes. Item 22 is to approve the personnel action for the employment transfer of Mr. Harrison Cole from the position of sewer line maintenance crew leader, pay range eight, two years, 2143 per hour to the position of maintenance worker, pay range eight, two years, 2143 with the Trumbull County Sanitary Engineers Department, effective Monday, October 21st, 2024. Motion to approve. Second the motion. Mr. Cantalamesa? Yes. Mr. Malloy? Yes. Ms. Frenchco? Yes. Item 23 is to reappoint Ms. Trudy Seymour Evans, Trumbull County, Sa Trumbull County Children's Service Adoption Supervisor, to serve as a county prevention specialist on the Ohio Children's Trust Fund, Northeast Regional Prevention Council, pursuant to Ohio Revised Code Section 3109.172, if reappointed by the Ohio Children's Trust Fund, Ms. Seymour Evans will serve a two-year term beginning November 3rd, 2024 and ending November 2nd, 2026. Ms. Seymour Evans was appointed by the commissioners to serve her first term on November 2nd, 2022, and this term will be her second and final consecutive two-year term. Motion to approve. Second that. Mr. Cantalamesa? Yes. Mr. Malloy? Yes. Ms. Frenchco? Yes. Item 24 is to receive and place on file for record purposes the 2023 annual report for the Trumbull County Department of Job and Family Services. Make a motion to approve. Second. Mr. Cantalamesa? Yes. Mr. Malloy? Yes. Ms. Frenchco? Yes. Item 25 is to approve the promotion of Mr. Alexander Hillier as a fiscal specialist non-bargaining employee with the Trumbull County Department of Job and Family Services, effective October 28, 2024. Mr. Hillier will be paid $23.9602 $23 per hour with full county benefits. Motion to approve. Second. Mr. Cantalamesa? Yes. Mr. Malloy? Yes. Ms. Frenchco? Uh, we were not provided enough information at all to make sure that this hiring process was done correctly. So I'm going to abstain. Item number 26 is to approve the personnel action for the employment of Ms. Bobby Garvey as an enforcement specialist assistant with the Trumbull County Ch uh, Child Support Enforcement Agency, effective Monday, October 21st, 2024. And Ms. Garvey will be paid $15.30 per hour with full county benefits and serve a nine month probationary period. Motion to approve. Second that. And th th this is another one. A every, every time these come on, I ask for more information. And there's a woman there that, that sends these to us, Chelsea Castello. And uh, she makes sure she spends all that time organizing food trucks 
making sure that they're during the work day, they're doing things that don't relate to county, to, to, to county business whatsoever, just organizing work, the, the food trucks, um, nonprofit raffle tickets during the work. You're making baseless allegations against an employee and that's an uncalled for baseless. We actually receive emails every week telling us what the food truck schedule is. And she spends so much time doing that, which is not related to work, actually selling raffle tickets for hours too. But, in, but in, instead just basic things like making sure that the commissioners can do their job is what she should be doing. Instead, How about basic things like a commissioner doing her job? information related to the hiring in fact this one in particular we have less from so i've been asking for more and on this one we actually receive less so it's unbelievable i remind Just, the public the commissioner french goes under censure right. the majority of the board so take it with the a grain of salt what she says stamps whatever's in front of them so maybe there is something associated with this one is the reason they even sent me less instead of more okay so for item 26 mr cantala mesa yes mr malloy yes French I'm going to abstain because I don't have enough information. In fact, I have less than usual on this one. Item number 27 is to receive and place on file the monthly activities report for the Trumbull County Dog Kennel for the months of August and we, September I, 2024. Motion, I'm making a motion to table this because we don't have a copy of it. Yes, you do. It hasn't, it wasn't given to us. It wasn't sent. We do not have it. This is something. Did you check your full mailboxes outside of your door? That's got things in there from a year ago, still taped to it. Phone calls to return. I've been at, well, that's really cute because I've asked for everything to be given to me in writing and they refuse to do it. I mean, we can go back there and show the press. There's two notes on there to call someone back from a year ago. They're still taped to it. Okay. Then they say, check your email. I check my email. There's a certain process in place where they're supposed to submit things correctly. I have nothing. So the, this clerk is a is That's a joke. Not true, you so, have okay. So I need to move. I need somebody to move. Motion to approve. I'll second I mean, that. I already made a motion to table. table. So you have to take that. You have to take the uh, the vote on the motion to table because there was discussion, which made it an automatically second. So you have to do it the right way. I understand. Vote on her motion to table. It's confusing for you, Lisa. I know. Humor her. Good. Mo vote on her motion to table. Miss Frenchko. She doesn't know. Yes. Malloy. No. For Cantela Mesa. No. Okay, then I have a motion for item number 27. I'll make a motion to approve agenda item number 27. I'll second that. Please read what I it did is. read it. She Mr. Cantela Mesa. Yes. Mr. Malloy. Yes. Ms. French. Uh, because there's nothing that, yes, we, there is. that we had that, uh, that wasn't submitted. According to our policies, we don't have a, there is nothing in the agenda approved items that showed any type of report at all. You can move on. That's item number 28 oh, okay. is to adopt a resolution authorizing expenditure for responding to or mitigating the public me. health Just emergency from American Rescue Plan Act funds. And this and is uh, for 911 that. dispatch center equipment. Motion to approve. Please. I'll second that. Mr. Cantela Mesa? Yes. Mr. Malloy? Yes. Ms. Frenchko? Yes. Item number 29 is to adopt a resolution authorizing expenditure for responding to or mitigating the public health emergency from American Rescue Plan Act funds, Kinsman Township Emergency Generator. And commissioners on the next page in the center, a one, this is a one-time grant for Kinsman Township for $16,000 for the purchase and installation of an emergency generator at the Township Administration Building. Motion to approve. Second that. And, and for discussion, I, I really wish that, I, I, don't know, I don't even know if I should say anything, but you, you put um, the auditor in charge of being the liaison it's wasting so much money for um and legal fees and people are townships are applying for things that they don't necessarily need just to get something and you don't think I, kinsman I, needs a generator no and what i'm saying is they were they were denied that they were told they were not eligible but i worked directly with them 
to make sure that they presented it the correct way and now it's eligible and now other communities that was Gustavus no. they was told they were not eligible initially yes no it was it was also it was also kinsman and I and I made sure that everything is um squared away and that anyone who's requesting those is doing it um using the proper language to make sure that it's covered under climate change resiliency but you know who am I to actually know things so that the townships could help we're wondering the yeah. same thing. Motion's on the okay. table. You guys just Mr. Vote for Kinsley, in front of you. Yes. Mr. Malloy. Yes. Ms. Frenchko. I'm glad I was able to personally help. Yes. Item number 30 is to en enter into an agreement between the Board of County Commissioners and Kinsman Township as approved by ARPA Legal Council to provide funds required to enable the township to, to be used to be used to purchase and install an emergency generator at the Township Administration Building, and the Board of Trumbull County Commissioners all allocates the sum of $16,000 to the Township. Motion to approve. Second that. Mr. Cantalamesa? Yes. Mr. Malloy? Yes. Ms. Frenchko? Yes. Okay, we're going to do these next two in a row, and then we'll, we'll present your checks to you and get the photos after we finish the next two up. Item number 31 is to adopt a resolution authorizing expenditure for responding to or mitigating the public health emergency from American Rescue Plan Act funds, and this is for Gus Davis Township Emergency Generators. Motion to approve. I'll second that. Mr. Cantalamesa? Yes. Mr. Malloy? Yes. Ms. Frenchko? Yes. And item 32 is to enter into an agreement between the Board of Commissioners and Gus Davis Township is approved by Ar ARPA Legal Council to provide funds required to enable the township to be used to purchase and install emergency generators at the Township Administration Building and the Township Fire Department. And the Board of Trumbull County Commissioners allocates a sum of $45,588 to the township. Motion to approve. Second the motion. Mr. Cantalamesa? Yes. Mr. Malloy? Yes. Ms. Frenchko? Yes. Item 33 is uh, to adopt a resolution authorizing expenditure for responding to or mitigating the public health emergency from American Rescue Plan Act funds. And this is for Hubbard Township Emergency Generator. And on the next page in the center, this is a one-time grant to Hubbard Township in the amount of $92,480 for the purchase and installation of an emergency generator to the township combined administration building and police department. Motion to approve. Second that. Mr. Cantalamesa? Yes. Mr. Malloy? Yes. Ms. Frenchko? Yes. Item 34 is to enter into an agreement between the Board of County Commissioners and Hubbard Township as approved by ARPA Legal Council to provide funds required to enable the township to be used to purchase and install an emergency generator at the Township Administration Building and Police Department and the Board of County Commissioners allocates the sum of $92,480 to the township. Motion to approve. Second that. Mr. Cantalamesa? Yes. Mr. Malloy? Yes. Ms. Frenchko? Yes. Okay, um, Gustavus cannot be here today, but they will come next week to pick up their check. At this time, we'll sign these. We'll get a photo op so you gentlemen can get back to your lives.
go sign hands. Like I know that. you can bring. I, I I have to sit to sign them. I can't do that. Can you pass them over here, please? Do you have a better Sharpie? Okay. One that works? <laughs> oh, wait, I heard one. I don't know if this one's better. Okay, this one does seem to work a little bit better. I'll show it's really barely right. Now you guys can hold the other side of this. Okay, number 35. Item number 35 is to enter into an agreement between the Board of Commissioners of Trumbull County, the Trumbull County Engineer's Office, and Vernon Township, Trumbull County, Ohio Board of Trustees, and Ohio Political Subdivision to Penetration Patch and Ship Seal on Vernon Township Roads, the County, the County Engineer's Office, and Township shall collectively be known as the parties. The county through the engineer's office shall coordinate, furnish all materials, labor and equi equipment and planning and supervise the referenced work. The township will be responsible for payment of 100% of costs incurred relating to the project in an amount not to exceed $160,000 with $151,673.78 being paid from the township ARPA funds and the remaining funds to be paid using available township funds. The project shall be completed by September 30th, 2025. Specific road selection will be determined by April 1st, 2025. Motion to approve. I'll second the motion. Mr. Canelo Mesa. Yes. Mr. Malloy. Yes. Ms. Frenchko. Yes. Item 36 is to amend agenda item number nine, commissioner's meeting agenda of September 25th, 2024, 
that read to authorize Danny Malloy, president of the Board of Commissioners, to execute any and all documents required for the agreement with Warren Roofing and Insulating Company for the design build roof replacement project at the Trumbull County Engineers Cortland Garage located in Cortland, Ohio, in the amount of $1,402,500. Amendment is necessary to correct the fund number as listed. Motion to approve. I'll second that. Mr. Cantalamesa. Yes. Mr. Malloy. Yes. Ms. Frenchko. Yes. Item number 37 is to adopt a resolution of the Board of Commissioners of Trumbull County, Ohio, entering upon its journal, the filing of a petition for annexation, seeking to annex 7.9561 acres of land, parcel number 28-522200, also known as address 3942 Youngstown Road in Howland Township to the city of Warren, Trumbull County, Ohio, and further known as being section 40, original Howland Township, being township number four in the third range of townships in the Connecticut Western Reserve. And in the note, mm -hmm. a discussion will take place during the commissioner's public workshop held on Tuesday, November 19th, 2024 at 1030 AM with a formal action by the board at their regular meeting held on November 20th, 2024 at 1030 AM. Motion to approve. Second that. Mr. Cantalamesa. Yes. Mr. Malloy. Yes. Ms. Frenchko. Yes. Item number 38 is to adopt a resolution recognizing the 21st annual Trumbull County Sports Hall of Fame inductees. It is with great pleasure that the Board of Trumbull County Commissioners joins the residents of Trumbull County to officially acknowledge all of the accomplishments and contributions made by the inductees and congratulate them for the distinguished honor. The list of inductees Ryan Allison, Dana Balish, Sarah Cash, Kristen Clemson, Michael Johnson, Bill Leonard, Robert Leonard, Don Lott, Todd McLean, Jeff Brazil, Tyler Scott, and PC Torres. Motion to approve. I'll second that. And, and discussion on this. Uh, last week after after the meeting, I was sent an email, not even spoken to or asked here in the open meeting, um, but I saw uh, staff walking by with resolutions that the other commissioners had already signed, I believe. And uh, the I got then I got an email from the clerk saying, um, we need you to sign these things before you leave. And I go to look for them and they're they're locked in our office. So there have been occasions where they try to have things presented without getting all three commissioners signatures. And then also when it comes to these types of resolutions, uh, they were they were going to have the man come first thing in the morning to pick them up, and they weren't even on our on our agenda. So moving forward, please let's do them this way, to do them correctly, to so that everything is in sunshine, within compliance with sunshine, and that we get to recognize them on the journal, and then also sign them correctly so that there's no violation. Hopefully, are, are, do do we have them in here to sign right now? Where are they? Commissioner, you did. Where, I, they I, were I, available. We're having a discussion. They sat on the table last week. Discussion because they were available for where, you. Where, okay, they were so, available for right, you last they week. They were not done correctly. So where are they? Because I would like to sign them. Commissioner. Where are they? Yeah. Commissioner, they were out last week sitting on the table. The people wanted to come and get them in advance. They did not want to come and get yes, them. Yes, they, they did. That's why yes, they, they did. did. They had never been put on. And we didn't leave them there overnight because I, you have a habit of taking things and them disappearing. We've had resolutions disappear that we had to redo at I sent county him, extra I sent labor. Him, we I had checks him. disappear out of here no, that you returned a week later. I so we, we didn't want to leave them. I, I instructed the clerk not to leave them on the table overnight. They sat there all day last so Tuesday my, and Wednesday. So my email, no, my email said that we should not sign these until we vote on them. Because since you're acknowledging publicly that you signed them before we voted on them, quite honestly, it's a it's an, another thing that we can add to the open meetings lawsuit. So I'm, I'm saying if they are here somewhere or wherever they are, I need to have the opportunity to sign them because it's it's wholly inappropriate and it's it's playing politics when you play these games where you're you're Commissioner, we have more than 100 documents just from the last right. eight months that you did not sign okay. 100 
Right. 100 okay. motions, 100 things you you did, did you not mean? sign that sat on the table back there. Over 100 I, of them in six I, months. I still don't have your signature. And now you're upset about this one. Right, this is a, this is a game, and I. And it's a I, game that you you play. No, this you is, don't. You refuse to sign things, and then you right, complain. Because, I didn't get to sign they it. They have to be done correctly. I have to be. They have to be sitting. I like to look at them. I don't just go sit at a, a table or go lean over and sign something without reviewing it. You you have forbidden the staff from working. That's not from, true. Forbi- There's policies that they wrote. Yes, the policy is for shut, you to come up. Shut, up. You shut your don't, mouth. Don't, you don't get to talk. My mouth. Yes. It's not it's a, it's a Lisa Blair meeting. Adjourn. It's not a Lisa this Blair not, meeting. This is not a show or a circus. I'm going to make a motion to adjourn. Oh, you want to make a motion to adjourn? This time we have one. Oh, no, we, no. Have one uh, we have one major order of business see. that I have to take care of. I need to make a motion from the floor to authorize and direct oh. Attorney Shana Sachs to remove the subdivision participation agreement executed by Trumbull County from escrow to allow Trumbull County to participate in the Kroger settlement agreement regarding the county's claim. Hmm. In re that wasn't re- presented on national the prescription opiate litigation MDL number twenty eight oh four. This action is taken pursuant to the recommendation of Attorney Shana Sachs, serving as the county's opioid legal counsel. This came in yesterday after we had the meeting. There was no time for us to address it in it, and they said that we have to sign this if we want to be if we want to continue them to be able to represent us in this lawsuit. It has to be signed by tomorrow. So Absolutely. I'm making the motion today. I'll so second that it. We do this. Mr. Malloy. Yes. Mr. Cantalamesa. Yes. Ms. Frenchka. Uh, without any verification, I'm abstaining. I don't trust anything out of his mouth. Okay, motion passes. And commissioner, uh, I need to take the vote for item 38. Uh, Mr. Cantalamesa. Yes. Mr. Malloy. Yes. And, and for the record, these have already been signed a week ago. Ms. Frenchko. The board signed these before they were Commissioners, um, we okay. looked back as far so. as 2010, and these were okay. never placed on the agenda, just so you know. It's not even something that has to be on the agenda it for us can. to do that. Okay. I right, one other order of business I need to bring up. In a, a couple of weeks ago, we denied oh, what access. I, what I'm going to do. I'm no. talking right now. I have the no, floor. I, I, we denied access to ODNR to inspect the well that's over in Brookfield that crosses our property where the Marks Tower and the Water Tower is. We got a letter from ODNR Columbus from the um, chief of oil and gas stating that it's coming to their attention that we denied access to their inspector to inspect a well. And they want to remind us that under Ohio revised code, the chief or his representative may at any time enter upon lands, public or private, for the purpose of administration or enforcement of the rules, laws adopted, and orders made thereunto or conditions for permits and registrations. So they basically said, we we can cross your land whether you want us to or not. We're doing our job to inspect the well. It was explained to me if that, that well has been drilled, it is under pressure. If they do not inspect it, they cannot fail it if there's a problem. And then there could be an explosion. There could be a massive um Massive explosion. Okay. There could be there could be problems. That's why they inspect it, and they could fail. They don't expect it to pat the guy in the back and thank him for having a well. They inspect it to make sure the public is safe and in accordance with all their permits. We as a board voted to not allow them to go across our property to inspect it. They're saying, we're going to do it. We'd like your cooperation. We'd like a key, or we're going to do it our own way, but we have the authority to do this. I don't want to have... A, a pissing match with the state over our property when okay. when they are doing something to protect the public's health and public interest. So I would ask my board again that we allow ODNR access through the gate to, to do the, the inspection of a well that is they've that they have authority Approved. to inspect. Okay, so I sent something to that same agency and requested information, and they failed to even answer or respond. They my, sent us this letter back. You have one in your mailbox. I That's am talking. Me. Still sitting there. You never read it. When I'm talking, you're quiet, big boy. You're like a 15-year-old and it's bedtime okay. and you don't want to go to bed and being cranky. Toddler. Go ahead. Okay. Can, we, can, we, can, can, I, we... can I speak without being interrupted? Because I'll continue to, to, to try to speak. So I sent questions because I had concerns down to that same agency and they have not (laughs) responded to me. I sent specific questions. Twice I've sent emails at this point to which there has been no response. Yes, they did send this, 
but this has nothing to do with them responding to the specific questions that I had about what is going on there. And I, I believe it, the second one, I might've CC'd the prosecutor's office. And at any rate, what's going on over there with, with them wanting access, they, they can move forward with that. I'm sorry, that's their legal count there. Is that from their legal counsel? I that's signed. That's from the chief's letterhead right. signed by legal counsel for Ohio department. Right. So we can, I'm still talking. So we still have legal counsel for Trumbull County. Here's the thing. I'm talking. Do you, both of you have the inability to be quiet while Sorry. someone's speaking who's a woman? So, so we have legal counsel that represents Trumbull County. They have legal counsel that represents their agency. So I, I believe that if we are going to do anything, we need to involve our legal counsel, who I believe is aware of this letter. They need, it'd be nice for them, for that agency to respond to us, but it sounds like they're going out there for the purpose of approving a permit. Inspecting and a permit. Inspecting a permit that's already been approved. They need to inspect the well. Can I ask make something? Sure it's not leaking. Have the ability to access the property through other. First of all, that's the key. They have access to right. the property. We're not denying them access to the property. They need to go around our property. That's all it is. We're just denying them access to our property. And that's we, a, we can still get to that property correct. and inspect it. There's no issue there. Can I can I say I think and I would suggest what the journal action actually to check what the journal action actually said, but I don't think that that journal action had it said anything about ODNR. I believe that it just had the individual property owner uh, as no. well as no. the company. I no. don't believe that it. No, that it, you're talking about journal action. We're talking about a discussion that we had at a workshop. So he's confusing that. Either way, Morrow and I at a workshop but, that was separate and than the journal action. What I'm be. saying is, we're not denying access to anything. We're denying access to our property. They can still access that property through different means. That's all. It's not. It's not, for the record. There is no road there. There is no public road there. It is private property. If they believe that they need to access and that they have the jurisdiction to do that, then they could do that mm -hmm. on their own without us approving it, is my opinion. That's they true. can they can go alternate routes. They can have the guy there install his own roadway, which he should have done all along instead of trespassing on county property. But is it is not the com board of commissioners role to allow well, there's a fire you're not going to let a fire department back there we're not going to let odnr go back there if there needs to be a cleanup you're not going to let epa go back there we're just going to single out odnr and tell them they can't go back there and it's, use our gate it's not one versus the other the fact is it's not public and we cannot set up matter. we can't public set or a private orc they can go anywhere to do their job and they're but, saying we will we don't want to tear your gate down we, let, we want the, to work with you and not against you. Did they say that? They don't want to tear Read it. Oh. Did you read it? I did. Oh, they're saying they have authority. They, they have authority to go anywhere to, to do their job. Did it they say will. they're going to tear the gate down? Did it say that? Or are you just talking and, and, and making stuff up like you usually do? They can get access to okay. any means they want but that, to get that, access. What, what where does it say they're going to tear our gate down? Denny, where does it say that other than in your mind? Well, you think they're going to blaze at, a trail? They're going to break the end of the day, make a road? At the end of the day, if this is a legal matter, we'll consult Bill Danzo. That's what That's I fine. said. That's what I said. Well, so why do we need to make it a legal matter? They are not going out there to encourage this well development. They're going out there to inspect the head to make sure it's not leaking for the public safety. That's what they do. They inspect the wells. They fail wells. They could deny this Our guy's permit. Office, they could yank this it, guy's it, permit if it, there's a problem. In addition to that, that should not have been sent to the Board of Commissioners. In my opinion, they should have sent it to our legal counsel. If they're the ones who told them no. If, they're, if their legal counsel is sending the commissioner something, they really, they should be sending it to our board, to our uh, statutory counsel, which is our prosecutor's office. We've had Wells League in other parts of the county, and we called ODNR to come and shut the people down. And now you're saying don't go out there to see if it's leaking? Wait until it's leaking, and then we'll call you? Well, and unfortunately, ODNR was the regulatory authority that let those things leak. They've so, got to follow so the law the here. They make I the mean, laws, and they follow the laws. I understand, but we've not had out. incidents in the past where we've had issues with wells, and ODNR was the, was the regulatory authority over those wells. So excuse me if I don't have the utmost confidence in them. 
Okay. There, if there's an accident, I just want for the record, they, they have, if there is an accident, I, I want to, to allow OD and or any agency to go back there. there. How's this guy getting there right now? How is that guy getting there right now? Like, is he still on there? Able to walking? He's still able to access the pro property somehow. So then maybe he needs to work with him to go in the way he's, he's through going. Our gate. They've come through our gate, went, made a right, and then made a left. Same way that Mr. Ray entered the property for 12 so Mr. years. Mr. Ray hasn't been there? For 12 years, okay. he ended it. We also have we also have companies. Have you been there? Like, we are also you have, out with him? We also you have tree. Is that, is that why you're advocating so no. much? Okay. We also have tree companies. We allow to dump wood shavings on that road throughout the year whenever we want to. They go back there and dump wood shavings to, to make the road better to get back to the tower. We never tell them they can't go back there. We haven't denied them access. The private companies. I'd like to consult with our legal counsel on that. That's all. Who has been allowing that? Do you, do, who has been allowing that? How do you know? It's been doing it for how do you know? Years. How do you know? Go talk to the companies. They'll tell you. Who? How do you know these things? Uh, because there's neighbors that live out there that tell you what trucks no, come and go. but you? Like, you, you're so dishonest. There's a lot of neighbors there. Public knowledge. Talk to the tower guys. Talk to our own maintenance people with the towers. The, the, the look at our water tower make stuff up you just make things up just like you said that they're going to come and tear our gates down you just say whatever I'm saying if we, we why don't we just I'm be a good neighbor and give odnr you. a key so if they need to get back there for any reason they can do it why do we got to be hostile government agency fighting another government agency because we don't like what they do under the revised code that's not legally what it. they do that's not even it they, they, you, you, do you understand that we cannot give preferential treatment to someone to allow them to trespass on county property? You're not going to allow the police officer to go back there if there's if there's someone it's parking so back there? I can't if there's kids in the water tower or complaints, you're not going to allow Brookfield police? That's a governmental agency. You're just dumb. I can't make you understand. Let's move on. I, th I think we need. Agent. I think we need to have the prosecutor look at it and. That's what I said. That's what I said. I already, I already sent one, and I think that we need to make sure that they were sent. Mario, I'll send you a copy of the email that I sent to them, just for informational purposes, so you can see the questions I asked. Because I think it's important that they respond to us, and they completely failed to respond. Okay. And I, anyone I from sent, the public have anything? No, I'm, just, I'm going to the public first. I'm running the meeting. Do you, no, that's no. You're doing. You're I'm running doing the meeting. We're going to the public. The public. I, I will. Do we have speak? any public comment? No, no, no. I want an opportunity to speak, and you're going to shut the meeting down whenever I talk. That's what you usually do. And I want to. If you talk about stuff that has nothing to do with the county, of course I will. Oh, nothing to do with the county. Okay, so here's what we're here's what I wanted to bring to everyone's attention, and I spoke to pros the prosecutor's office already today about this. Um, you guys have been receiving the same emails I have probably uh, related to Insight Medical Hospital, right? You you guys, it, some of them came to both of us, to the John, from John Q. Public about Insight. Um, just a warning, a commission, it came to all commissioners. Um, wait, there were two of them. I received it. It says, just a warning about Insight taking over two hospitals in your area. The same health system has taken over three hospitals in Hudson, New Jersey. That uh, The issue is that Insight has a existing CEO uh, trying to run three hospitals into bankruptcy in order to close the hospitals and develop the land underneath them uh, that's worth millions of dollars. He'll fire employees. Um, they're there's a lot go there's a lot going on and then i received another individual sent me a packet um from the aft which is the uh largest uh labor union for nurses they're actually the nurses union for hillside um and so i have a, a lot of information that they 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 sent about their history including that civil um rico um, insurance fraud uh, case. I have. There's so much information about them, and I'm e extremely concerned uh, about also hearing that they're doing a, a short-term lease and they're planning to close Hillside. And because of that, that's going to uh, adversely affect 
you know, our utilities that are going on out, out there. And so I reached out to the, um, had conversations with the attorney general's office to find out if they could file um, at least an objection to the global settlement agreement just to protect uh, us to see what's going on. I don't know if they have. Did you do it on behalf of yourself as a citizen or did you yeah. do that on county time or county paperwork or right. county email? So I, cause I, I'm sorry, if you don't think that having 911 services in Trumbull County. Well, I, I don't remember the board giving any authorization to reach out to the attorney general to ask them to investigate our hospital that okay. just saved our employees' so, jobs. So I actually spoke to them and they're, they're concerned about the same things. I've been giving them all the packets of information that I've been receiving. I've been sending down to the state and they are concerned about the same thing. You said they are. Who's okay. they? I'm I'm talking. You have a name of anybody at the attorney general's office, the DBO's office, that said they're concerned. Right, I I am talking. So over, let's just let's just do this. Go. Over in over in Chicago, they have a hospital where they shut down the maternity. This is this is what I, I'm hearing from from sources who are talking to like doctors and physicians and other people there. Shut down a floor, and um, they I think it was the maternity ward ward was what I heard and then converted it and they had like refugee or immigrant housing or something like that in there. So there's like, there's a, a whole lot. They're spending more money at that hospital to build a mosque than they are in actually redeveloping. They're, you're, they're, you're talking, you're talking, okay. no, no facts. No, State some names and facts that we're going to end this. So let's do no, we're we're not. You, we know you're working with the other hospital that got beat out. You've already lobbied for them, and now you're trying to discredit them. Lobbying. We're not so, going to allow that on county time. They're actually getting, they're actually being financed and and in part subsidized by Medical Properties Trust. So I have a letter that I'd be happy to read because everyone's so interested. Does this in one have a name, or is this Joe Q. Public or someone you heard? Everyone is so damn interested in what I was doing that they took took it and then Dawn emailed it to the clerk and then she printed it and sent it up to the prosecutor's office. So why don't I just read it publicly? It's only four pages. Can I just read my letter? No, there's nothing to do. No, because no. it says no. a press conference. Yeah. Yeah. Press conference on your own time. This is don't not... use county board of commissioners to I'm do that. I'm not authorizing my, my vote on that. Are you, Marl? No, no. She has no authority okay. to do that. Was... And she has she is under censure of our board. I so I see you got a letter there on, on our letterhead. It better not have any our letterhead, any of our paper, or anything to do oh. with county business. I was approached. Because you're not acting in official capacity. Okay. I was if you're on this I was approached witch hunt. Right. right, I was approached. To try to get a job with this other hospital. It's not happening. I... God, to try to get a job with another hospital? Yeah, the one you've been working with that you try to get in instead of this hospital. That is absolutely okay. Let let's be clear. So I'd love to read this because it explains everything. Anyone who wants, I do it at a real press we, conference. We could do it at a press conference, or you could do it at a press conference. Press conference. At this point, was, I'll make a motion to adjourn. I second that motion. And told Mr. that no yes. one else was interested. Mr. Malloy, in yes. Remember them coming in here at brunch co. No, no. Everyone remembers Thank them you, coming in. Do your own press conference.